Hello, welcome to Jazz Mando Tips from www.jazz-mandolin.com. I'm Pete Martin. Thanks for watching. This episode looks at the number system in music theory. The number system in music theory is also called the Nashville number system. It really describes where a note is in the major scale. We can use these numbers to help us study events that happen in music, and the studying of those events can especially help us to be able to play with other musicians. Before we look at the number system, let's look at a system that probably a lot of you already know what it is by the sound. Have you ever heard the sound Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do? This system is called the solfege system, and it really just puts a syllable to each of the notes in the major scale. We can do the same thing with numbers. The number system just uses numbers instead of those solfege syllables I just described. So in other words, instead of Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, if I would sing that again and just use numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. These musical numbers can also be used to describe musical distance, which are called intervals. So remember the term interval just simply means the musical distance between two notes. If I sing the first two notes of the scale, one, two, or, sorry, I'm in the wrong key with my mandolin, but that is one to two is the distance, that musical distance is called the second. If I did one, two, three, one, three, that distance would be called the third. If I did one, two, three, four, five, one to five would be called a fifth. One, five. By the way, that's the distance of the open strings from each other on the mandolin and the fiddle. One, five, one, two, three, four, five. So we can use that sound in helping us tune our instrument. Another way that people quite often remember the one to five sound or the interval of a fifth is from the Wizard of Oz where the orcs are marching in singing oh we oh oh That is the distance of a fifth. And right there I was just playing open G, open D. O, E, O, one, five, one. So now if I play this in the key of C, starting on a C note, of course the C note is the fifth fret on the G string. C, five on G, open D, second fret on D, third fret on D, fifth fret on D, open A, second fret on A, third fret on A, that's a C major scale. You can see that on the screen here. C to E would be a third. C to G would be a fifth. O, E, O, etc. Now these numbers can be used either to describe an individual note or to describe a chord. If I just said C and didn't give you any, any, any more information, would you know whether I meant a C chord or a C note? Well, unless you had more information, you wouldn't. But in a lot of music theory texts, and in definitely in any of mine, we uh, 
the, the individual notes are described using alphanumeric numbers and the chords are described using Roman numerals. Alphanumeric numbers are numbers you'd see if you looked at a clock and Roman numerals of course are the, the uh, like uh, for three, a Roman numeral for three would just be three um, capital I's. So we can see the number system for one octave is shown here for both chords and notes. Now for purposes of jazz music theory study, we quite commonly extend the number system for two full octaves because we use the numbers 8 through 14 and 8 through 15 actually to describe um, notes in a different octave. So here you can see two octaves of the C major scale. So I could easily do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or 1 again. The reason we do this is jazz chords contain notes that work into the second octave. For example, in the key of C, if we had a C ninth chord, a 9 in the key of C is a D note. So that would just simply be a C7 chord with the note D thrown in. This, it's beyond the scope of this video to go into chord construction. So I will, do be, I will be doing some other videos on chord construction later, so you should watch for those. But just know that in jazz, we quite often describe the number system in two octaves rather than just one. For beginning music theory study, I recommend my book, Easy Music Theory for Fiddle and Mandolin. And you can find it at petamarpress.com. The address is shown on the screen right now. For more extensive jazz theory study, I recommend two sources. One is pianist Mark Levine, has a very good book called Jazz Theory that you can find at many, many places. And then uh, jazz educator Bert Ligon, L-I-G-O-N, I hope I'm pronouncing Bert's name correctly, has two books called Jazz Theory Resources. And the Jazz Theory Resources are Volume 1 and Volume 2. They're both excellent and go very much into depth. Knowledge of the number system is essential for studying any jazz music theory. While the study of theory in and of itself doesn't make you a better player, won't make you be able to play faster, play more notes if you want, but what it can do is help people to better understand what they are playing and give them more confidence in their playing, and that can very much make the player sound better. I very much recommend people that want to do any improvising study theory because it will help with the knowledge of chords and where everything is on the fingerboard. So good luck in your studies and happy picking.